As you can see, it would affect a much larger area New than York the is gone. Realm. But moving on past that to the Castle Bravo test, Castle we can Bravo. see how it truly dwarfs everything before it. Hey guys, loud guys. Today we are going to do the terrifying true scale of nuclear weapons. So the thing is about nuclear weapons, we just know about the Hiroshima and Nagasaki blast. And that is the only scale that we know about. But we know that the world is developing at a very fast pace. So And we also know that nuclear weapons are also developing at a very fast pace. So let's see what is there in this video. Ever since the first nuclear weapons test in the deserts of New Mexico and the bombings of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, mm. nuclear weapons have become significantly more powerful. Wow. Since the first test in New Mexico by the United States in 1945, 2,475 nuclear weapons have been detonated across the globe. 500. Five percent of those detonations have come from only two countries, however. The USA. United States USA. and the Soviet Union. China? China. Only two of those thousands of detonations were ever used in a war, the ones dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki during World War II by the United States. But those bombs were very small compared oh to modern God. weaponry. Just the Hiroshima deep, bomb deep produced down. an explosion of 15 kilotons, or 15,000 tons worth of TNT. My the God. bomb dropped on Nagasaki had an explosion of 21 kilotons. 21 how kilotons. much bigger can nuclear weapons possibly get? How much? The answer is terrifyingly, Whoa. much, much bigger. Oh, the largest no. nuclear weapon currently in the United States arsenal is the B-83, which can produce a blast of 1.2 megatons. 200? Oh my god! What? Hiroshima and Nagasaki were like, I was shocked at that 21 tons, yeah. kilotons. And now it is in megatons. Megatons. Like we saw in that video, no? it's like 150 times like powerful. No, it is like 1000 kilotons so it is that 1200 kilotons whoa it is that powerful so this is too big this can just uh, clear out entire country what? No? Uh, yeah it is very very big understand the scale from here out one megaton is equal to one million tons of tnt one and million that is equal to one thousand kilotons yeah, thousand remember kilotons. that the hiroshima blast was just 15 kilotons <laughs> so that means that the b83 just produces 15. a blast 80 times more powerful oh, than that. 80 times. what i've been showing on this scale oh, is oh, only oh. the size of the mushroom cloud that the bombs produced mushroom so to cloud. further add to the scale the we're going to place the oh. size of mount everest here and the average altitude of a commercial air oh. that you would normally fly on here so, the Castle Bravo bomb <gasps> is the largest nuclear weapon ever tested by the United States. It produced a blast of 15 megatons, or about 1,000 times the scale. You want to kill the humanity? But even 1, that pales in comparison the whole to the planet largest will be nuclear exploding. weapon. Oh, there is even larger. In October what? 1961, the Soviet Union created the largest man-made explosion Union, ever Russia. in human history when they detonated this device, Sarbomba. Sarbomba, here over this territory known as Novaya like Zemlya. The bomb detonated with an astounding force of 50 megatons. Wow! 3,333 Hiroshima the, blasts. It was so everything. powerful that it almost destroyed the plane that dropped it, shattered windows huh. as far away as Norway and Finland, and the oh. shock waves created by the bomb circled around the entire Earth three times. Three times. The but shock this waves test was actually just a scaled-down version of, of what was theoretically quest. possible. Oh, Although you. never tested, the Soviets did have plans to create a bomb that would be twice as powerful oh, as even the Tsar bomb. It. A bomb so powerful that it would have produced a mind bomb and now now just see Nagasaki and Hiroshima that is like little kid it's and like a little kid and they destroyed like even now we read about it like how much destruction now they have did a toddler and teenager. if for example Russia drops that SAR bomba now, even the bigger that, what is that that theoretical SAR uh, bomba theoretical if oh. they drop it on any country it's the end. But why they are making it? Like, do they think that they, they need to use that? Because they, definitely they, they won't be alive. They are using this. They, it is just a competition and they just want to scare each scare other Scare each other, yeah. But right. this is very scary because if there is just one bad man or two, three bad men who just want to uh. do it, they will just destroy the world. 100 megaton blast or about 6,666 Hiroshima blasts all together. Oh, stop it. To get another sense of scale, let's imagine that Times Square in New York City would huh. be the epicenter of these blasts. Okay. You can test this stuff out yourself on the website Nuke Map after watching this video. I'll oh. provide a link for it after Nuke the Map. end, but let's see the results first. First off, we're going to show the size of this detonation, which was caused by the recent North Korean test in 2013. Following this, here is the size of the Hiroshima detonation, which isn't really that much bigger. Hiroshima. But let's move on to the B-83 bomb that we were talking about. As you can <gasps> see, it would affect a much larger area New than the New York is gone. Bomb. 
But moving on past that to the Castle Bravo test, Glass we can Bravo. see how it truly dwarfs everything before it. Boom. But even that blast is incredibly tiny when we move Zarbomba. on towards the Tsar Bomba as seen here. And then finally for our the scale, we move is on gone. to how large the blast from the theoretical 100 megaton version of the Tsar Bomba would be. The blast would be so powerful. This is what the blast radius would look like if you were observing it from the International Space Station. My God. So the question then becomes, should any of this really worry you? How many nuclear weapons exist today anyway? Oh. Well in total, there are estimated to be around 15,600 nuclear weapons too many. in the world currently. My enough God. to destroy the entire planet dozens of times <laughs> over. But only I nine saved. countries control that stockpile, and 92% of those weapons are controlled by only the United States and US, Russia. The other 8% of the global nuclear India, arsenal is controlled Pakistan. in descending order of numbers by France, China, the United Kingdom, Pakistan, India, Israel, yes. and North Korea. Israel is however highly secretive about its nuclear program and has never publicly confirmed maybe nor denied yes, the existence no. of their nukes. It's just one of those things where everybody knows that they have them, but nobody really comes out and says so. <laughs> Unless your name happens to be Mordecai Vanunu, a man who did Vanunu. reveal details about Israel's nuclear program and spent 18 years in prison, <gasps> including over 11 years in solitary Ooh. confinement. Also interesting to note, the South Africa of... used to be in possession of six nuclear weapons because the past apartheid regime was afraid of the 79% of the population that couldn't vote and communists trying to overthrow their government. Ooh. But they eventually agreed to dismantle all of them, which nice. makes South Africa the only country to ever acquire nuclear weapons and then wow. voluntarily get rid of Very them. Good South Africa. Well, unless you don't count Ukraine, Great. Belarus, or Kazakhstan, which all had nuclear weapons for a brief amount of time after they declared their independence from the Soviet Union in 1991. Ukraine is particularly awkward because after their independence they found themselves in possession of over 5,000 nuclear weapons, oh. which would make Ukraine for a brief period the world's third largest nuclear power and probably one of the most powerful countries on That's Earth shocking. as a result. They agreed to hand them all over to Russia wow, in exchange very for a good. super serious promise that nobody would violate their territory or borders in the And future. Russia only did it. Russia did that. <laughs> As a result of that happening, today? it's doubtful that other countries would be thrilled to ever give up their nuclear weapons in the future. Uh, but leave your thoughts and comments. So this is very scary video. I never want any country to go to this length never, of ever. attacking via nuclear weapons because these nuclear weapons are so scary they can just end the world and this challenge and we hear it like in India we hear it from Pakistan side a lot that okay we have nuclear weapons we can do this and that but we both know that we can never fire the nuclear weapons because it will just end both of our countries and this is very bad yeah they are, it's like they are just maintaining their scores and this was so strange I didn't know about this that Ukraine has given like around like 5,000 to 6,000 their bombs to mm. Russia and that they might kind of promise but Russia is Russia they broke and now we see how destruction has done by the Russia mm, and now they are attacking their pay. so I think that there should be a rule that okay if you have made a contract then you have to follow it because this is very bad and now they have, don't even have the nuclear weapons and they don't even have that power also to fight against Russia so it was a crazy video to watch so how did you guys fight it do let us know in the comment section below so do like share and subscribe bye, bye.